So we are packing up in the rain. It's not my favorite thing to do. It's a nice misty day. It's a nice misty day, he says. So there's positivity going around, but I don't like packing up in the rain. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> Welcome back to No Tears Frontiers Diaries. Today we are heading through the Blue Ridge Parkway, which I think is one of the United States' best roads. So this morning we had some mist and rain and then the sun came out and now it's we got glorious. a little bit of both worlds. We yes. got some... Wow, it's moved so quickly. It was like really clear over there just a moment ago. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's beautiful. Road. There's so many. I always find myself saying, oh, this is one of the best roads. I mean, Utah and the West and Colorado. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many good roads. But, uh, and the, the East was fairly new territory to us. But uh, the Blue Absolutely. Ridge Mountains were, I'm so glad that we went down it. Because there was like a 50-50 like, conversation I had. I'm like, well, it might be crappy. You know, so why yeah. even, you know, waste the time to do it? Coming from the West, we just come from the Rockies. Yeah. You know, you don't get mountains in the United States that are taller than that, um, in the continental US anyway. Yeah. And so we thought, okay, now we're in the Appalachian Mountains. They're a lot older, they're a lot more sloping. Yeah, but my comparison is like the Rockies, right? Like Rocky, they're Rocky, right? And they're all jagged and they're all crazy. Yeah, yeah. And like the, you know, the the East, it, they're like, they're like furry, you know? <laughs> The furry, furry mountains because there's 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 trees everywhere and there's they I mean they just look like long sweeping hills yeah and that's they're right. very very beautiful they are and you know what I read something that the Appalachian Mountains were at one point the tallest mountains on Earth they're so old they're also one of the oldest mountain ranges that we have at least in the United States. And that's why they've been worn down into these gradual slopes over all of the millennia. Whereas the Rocky Mountains are a lot newer and younger and so that's why they're so jaggedy. But you feel that kind of oldness when you go to the Appalachian Mountains. I certainly did. Yeah. And it's not just because of the geology and the slopingness of the ridges, but because of the history of the United States. Wow, it's so cool.
lot more visually present history there yeah. um, as compared to other areas of the United yeah. and States. And anybody across the pond or anywhere else in the world, you know, like when we're like, oh, yeah. it's so old, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> Wow, you know, yeah, old, not grass. old, yeah, right. <laughs> but in the states, the east is where you know the, the. Well, a lot of the Native American structures were yeah. made out of wood as opposed to stone, and, and they, so you we know, don't have them, unfortunately. Yeah, so mm -hmm. there was not a lot of like permanent structures. I mean, Mesa Verde and stuff like that is absolutely yeah. fantastic. But again, Cahokia, just like on a timeline of history, it's just crazy to know that like. Uh, like Oxford. these structures. Well, not like Oxford was already been and existed for a hundred years for right. the time that like Machu Picchu was built, and like just that timeline <laughs> difference was just like whoa! I would not have. That is crazy. But even when comparing North America to South America, for example, we went through so many beautiful old Incan ruins yeah. or Mesoamerican ruins, Mayan ruins in Central America. I mean, there were such huge temples made out of stone and all yeah. of these structures and cities built. Whereas in North America, they become a lot scarcer. And so when you go to the East Coast and you can see some of these old structures that are there, whether it was from the Native Americans or the settlers yeah. that had come kind of as frontiersmen into the Appalachian Mountains, it's just really cool to see. Yeah. And you get that sense of history. And we stopped, there was a couple little like cabins stuck into the, the, the mist as we were riding yes. by. The and mist. It was, it was so cool. I'm the pilot, I'm riding along, and the road twists along, and then I can just see this wall of fog, and it's, yeah. you know, we're on a spaceship and hyperdrive going through an asteroid belt or something. It's like, well, here comes the thing, you know, and yeah. then we enter into it, and it's just, everything disappears, and it's almost, you know, like we hit a, a just Like silence. a barrier. It's crazy. Yeah, like a force field of yeah. some sort. And at one point in time, we were riding, and there was a bit of sunlight coming through. It was like we were on the edge of that cloud, just like you were talking about, but instead of it being a full-on wall that we hit, it was like these pockets of sunshine and then glittering clouds, yeah. and we would just like go through these shifting like pieces of sunshine yeah. until we got into that cloud. Here it's totally... Crazy how fast it just comes in. Alright, let's go. Okay. That would be a cool shot. 
Ja. Another stop along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous, misty, mystical, yes. amazing. And there's just a scenery of mist. The street itself, it's very well paved throughout mm -hmm. the entire Blue Ridge Parkway. And it must have gotten some warmth from the prior day or something because you could see it misting yeah. up as it evaporated in the sunlight and then the mist clouds would be coming in and you got this sense of just ghosts yeah. like there were ghosts everywhere and they were enveloping you it's and like wrapping around a you. fog machine was set down you know and it's just crawling along the, the yeah. road it's real cool and then like you know there's these old fences and stuff uh built who knows how long ago but right. like it just kind of adds to that that like haunted house but haunted like roadway feeling yeah. and then like trees just kind of like half in and half out of this Absolutely. reality and some it, this was becoming the fall which is that perfect kind of haunted time yeah and you could see that some of the trees were turning especially when you got pretty high up into the mountains uh the leaves would get to be yellow and red when you have that cloud behind them and the mist kind of shrouding them. I kept them. pulling over to take pictures just because everything was, was just insanely awesome. You know? The trees themselves, they felt really old. And I loved being able to see the shape of them. They just had beautiful shapes to them. The skeleton. The tree's skeleton. Yes, it was yeah. the tree's skeleton. Mm -hmm. And the whole day, I had this feeling of peace and wonder and... Not warmth. Not warm, no. <laughs> it was kind of chilly. <laughs> and it did rain on us occasionally, but it would yeah. be like this little misty drizzle. It was almost like, well, you're just passing through a cloud, and this is the moisture that comes along with it type of rain. But it was, I, I felt like it was almost a magical experience going along that Blue Ridge Parkway. It was really, really, really cool. It felt very personal. Um, you're just enclosed in these clouds, just riding through and when you're on a motorcycle you are part of the environment and uh, you're not bubbled out of it so we were able to really just feel like we were a part of that forest On the Blue Ridge Parkway, like, there's a pull off, a scenic outlook, like, every mile. Yeah. Like, they built this road to be ridden. It was perfect. I and mean, for us, on a cloudy day, like, we skipped, like, every sixth one because, like, like I mean, you pull into these little immediate pullovers with, like, a parking spot or two, and it's just the same, like, outlook to nothing because it was just so much cloud. Yeah. But, we did catch a couple where, like, you can just... I took a picture, right? And, like, the, the, the fog is, like, starting to climb up one of these mountainsides. Yeah. And not, not five minutes later, I took another picture, and it had engulfed it. And then I took another picture five minutes like after that. It was like a monster creeping and up. And then we were in the fog. Yeah, it was like Stephen yeah. King's mist. It was just... Yeah, it was like it had a mind of its own. Yeah. You could watch it move like it was pulling itself up the mountainside. Yeah. Um, just the strangest thing. And there's tunnels to go through. I'm yeah. a big dark for tunnels. I love, every time I go through a tunnel, I'm like, oh, a tunnel! <laughs> yeah, no. And there wasn't a lot of traffic. Yeah. This road, it was made, like its namesake, 
It's a scenic parkway. Yeah. So and it was made we just for there. the views, for the enjoyment of it. Yeah, to totally. It was there just just to be ridden down. I, yes. We're going to cut that because that's, that's most roads. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> most roads are meant to get to a destination. Yeah. This road was meant to get just to the road. Yeah. There was no destination in mind. It was the destination, and, and that's what I loved about the it. The fact that it was within the middle of a week probably helped. And yeah. The fact that like it was kind of a crappy uh, weather forecast yeah. got rid of some of the traffic, and so it was just nice. We rarely saw anybody, and who we did see, you know, there was a couple jeeps, and we just leapfrog, you know, yeah. because then we'd pull over and like. Woo! and then they'd go by and then they'd stop and we'd pull you know and we did see some motorcyclists yeah. it is a motorcycle haven it's just it was absolutely fantastic road i mean we had the worst weather forecast that you could have possibly imagined and it was still the most incredible experience of just the feeling of it not even visually the views the footage it's all beautiful but you don't get the feel of yeah. it. It was almost like a meditation to be going through well, the misty forest. And I think riding through the rain on a highway the last four days, you know. <laughs> yeah. It, it's always nice, you know, to just sit back and relax and zoom around and take your time. And, you yeah. know, it, we, we, we didn't burn a couple of days hanging out at my uncle's cabin. And so we... Had a couple more days, and so we were just taking things as slow as we wanted to enjoy because we didn't have to burn and turn to get, yeah. you know, we still had a couple of days of uh, of grace period. And it was just pure enjoyment. Now, finding gas and food um, was a little bit tricky because you have to leave the parkway. Yeah. Uh, so you do have to kind of plan that out, but, but you're never that far towns. from yeah. the town. Yeah, for sure. evening we decided we just saw it on the side of the road it was yeah. these little cabins being it advertised cute and we still i i had a couple hours left in me but we saw these little cabins and yeah and i was like that might that might that, let's just go see how much it is because if it's ridiculously expensive then we'll move on down the road we're in fancy gap virginia and it is a cute cabin but the best part or the views outside. If I can open this door. There we go. Apparently this is a peach orchard. And we're right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Just, it's been a gorgeous ride. Gorgeous. I can't wait to have our morning tea and coffee right on this porch. There was all sorts of uh, agriculture going on all over the area. It was very, very quaint. Uh, and they had these little cabins. I just I just yeah. loved the cabin. The cabin was about the size of the room we're in right now. It's like, you know, <laughs> the, the smaller than your bedroom, most likely. Yes, yes. But, I mean, for us, in one night, it's, yeah. it's perfect. What more do you need? It had a beautiful view. And a little and deck. It had a little deck, two little chairs. We were able to make some tea and coffee. Yeah, and they had a little hot water, one of those instant plug-in hot water bubbly things, whatever you want to call it. They had them. a shower room, so I was able Again, to get my hot shower. Again, she took another shower. I, I did not. <laughs> so, yeah, we were just on cloud nine. Oh, um, I get it. <laughs> There's some hair on me, everyone. <laughs> All right. My funnies are not so good. They're good. Sorry. That was no. good. That's going to stick. We're going to no. see comments about that. The next day, because even though it had a similar forecast, the day's ride we had was so wonderful. I didn't care if it was equal to and it could possibly exactly. be better. Exactly. But uh, the next day was going to be the last day of the Blue Ridge Parkway. We were going to cut off a little bit early and, and hook east. Um, that's right. Yeah. To go to Overland Expo, Expo east. east. So yeah, if you ever get to the Blue Ridge Parkway, Do I it. highly recommend yes. it. it. Amazing. Was absolutely road. fantastic. Yeah, no matter what the weather is. 
<laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below and the little notification bell. Mm -hmm. And that will alert you to our next episode, which will be coming out very soon. Until then, have a great time and bye. No. Nope. <laughs> That's terrible. Yep, that was bad. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. Peace.